Hi, Adam Lewis here with Sound Barrier and SoundBarrierHunting.com. This week we're going to look at how far sound you make when hunting travel and if you should really care about this. So stay tuned. So when we're hunting, we have a lot of opportunities to make noise. From coming and going from our to our stand locations, hanging stands, taking down stands, whether it be crunching through leaves, breaking twigs, uh, brushing against things, or our equipment. And nowadays we have so much equipment, there are tons of opportunities to make noise with it. Clang, bang, clunk it, we've got metal, we've got plastic, everything. We have so many things and with more things is more opportunities to make noise. So should these noises really matter to you? Is it really gonna affect your success that much? So today we're gonna to take this simple sound level meter and we're gonna take one a typical noise that a lot of hunters make and take a look at how much noise it really makes and how far does that travel. Now this isn't the best piece of equipment. We've done a lot more testing on hunter sounds uh, in the soundproof booths with some great equipment and you can take a look at those hunter sounds and how far they really travel via our website. But this is just an example and this will serve the purpose for us today. What we're going to do is take a typical uh, set of equipment that a lot of hunters use uh, to represent you know, just a noise that you might make in the woods and that is some of these uh, tree steps. Uh, it could represent anything that's steel or metal that you could cling, clang, clunk and make noise with. So what I'm going to do is set up the sound level meter. I'm going to hit it a few times. We're going to get a maximum reading and then we're going to look at how far is that really going to travel in the woods. So here we go. So with a few clangs this is what we got. We got 74.8 decibels as the max. It was somewhere around high 60s, lower 70s with several of the clangs. So we're going to take that average of maybe around 70 decibels and just see for this example, how far is that going to travel in the woods? Now it's really easy to calculate this. All you have to do is take some simple physics equations and you can project out how far this is going to travel on a calm day. Now we all know that if it's really windy or noisy out because of wind or rain or something like that, that, that is going to cover some of that sound. But we're talking about clear, crisp days like morning, evening hunts when it's real quiet. If you make a noise, how far is it going to travel? So if you take that, basically every time you double the distance, a noise will drop six decibels. If we carry that out, this noise in particular, if you do the math, this will travel around 250 yards and you'd still be able to hear it. In particular, a deer would still be able to hear that. 250 yards away. So a lot of us hunt close to bedding areas, at least that close to them, right? And us being that close, we make that type of unnatural noise how is that going to affect deer because they will hear it? Well, the plain simple truth is this. Science shows and studies show it takes one interaction with deer for them to change behavior. Every time we step in the woods, we're leaving scent, uh, maybe a deer is seeing us, and deer are hearing every noise we make, and that is adding to hunting pressure. Every time we walk in the woods, we are hurting our areas. And it could be one noise that ruins a hunt, ruins a hunting area, and ruins a season. So it's very important, deer will hear that and it will cause them to change their patterns and possibly totally start using another area. So it's vital to our success that we find ways to eliminate this noise, to eliminate any chance of making these noises that could ruin a hunt, a hunting area, or a whole hunting season. Because big deer and deer in general do not tolerate our presence or these noises. Here at Sound Barrier, that's what we're about. I invite you to check out our other YouTube videos subscribe to our YouTube page as well as social media and also check out our website where we have a lot of resources for you about this about other sounds we've tested and how far they really do travel and also we have some products to help you with that that can silence your equipment and help you to never be heard again. <laughs>